All right, my first guest is an opinion journalist for The Washington Post and author of Rise of the Warrior Cop, The Militarization of America's Police Forces. Radley Balco is back with us from Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks for being here, Radley. I know you've written many times about the police, probably more influentially than anybody in recent years. And uh, for a long time, change was slow coming. It looks like that's finally changed and maybe the straw was broke, the camel's back, and now things are changing, attitudes are changing. Tell me what you think um, policing is gonna look like in five years. Different, same, somewhat different? Man, I gotta tell you, I mean, if you'd asked me that question two weeks ago, I'd give you a completely different answer um, than today. Um, I mean, we've seen just such remarkable change in the last couple of weeks. Um, I, th I think I read somewhere where there's been a 20% jump uh, among the general public in questions about things like whether there's systemic racism in policing, whether police is, is sort of fundamentally flawed and needs to be reformed. Right. Um, I never would have thought, for example, that we were at a place where we might soon be repealing qualified immunity or there might be sort of, um, you know, uh, pan ideological support. Um, this is the, the shield that police officers get when they violate your rights. They, they, they're held to kind of a higher standard uh, and this makes it really difficult to sue them. And, you know, I never thought it would have been a popular political position for members of Congress to introduce a bill to, to dramatically scale back or even uh, abolish qualified immunity. But there seems to be a, a growing, uh, probably not a consensus at this point, but certainly it's more popular than it's ever been. Um, you know, I think we're going to see a lot of, uh, of experiments. Uh, Minneapolis, you know, is sort of going to tear down its police department and build it again from the ground up. Uh, I think we'll probably see a lot of cities try different things, uh, try to uh, for lack of a better term, outsource different things that we normally Cam entrust. Camden, New Jersey did that, did they not? Did they not fire the whole the police department, hired many of them back, but completely retrained them, and it was a success, was it not? I, I think it was, un yeah, I think it was an unqualified success. They, they fired them, they abolished the union, uh, and then they rebuilt it uh, from the ground up, retrained everyone. There is now a union again, but it's not the same type of union that it was before. Uh, and crime has gone down in Camden since this was tried, and, and, and relations between the police and the community have, have improved immensely, so it's, it's been a, a big success. It does seem like we're often at this standstill with the police, where the, the public is saying, yeah, you know, can't you do it <laughs> without the brutality? The police are saying, we resent that you are questioning us, and the public is saying, well, then stop doing horrible shit. And and we don't seem and we don't seem to understand why you can't have both, why you can't have. I think they do it in other countries, where you do have law and order and police do the job of police without this sort of. We so, see so much sadistic joy from the police and stuff. Yeah, and I think you know, uh, there's this co constant debate over: is it a few bad cops? Is it is it a, a significant number of cops? Is it a majority of cops? And kind of the way I look at it is, if you have cases where you have police officers who you know are bad, who, who it's clear have done bad things, whether it's you know beating people or corruption or whatever, and the system is incapable of ejecting those people, um, then I think you you can only conclude that you have a corrupt system. You know, it it, it almost doesn't matter sort of whether it's one percent or five percent or twenty five percent of cops that are you know bad if we can't get rid of the bad ones, then the system itself is corrupt. 